So the importance of STEM in education has has changed quite a bit as um, as I've grown up. So not to say that I'm old, but um, I'm not as young as I used to be. Um, when I was going through elementary school and high school and, and even college, STEM was um, in, in the fields of science and technology, engineering and math were all standalone things. You would go out and learn about them um, because you wanted to, to do something in those areas. And now as uh, time has passed and with the way um, uh, education is today and just the way the world is today, STEM is just embedded in life. It's not a standalone thing anymore. It's something that you have to not only know, but you have to really grasp and, and, and understand and understand how those things work together so that you can just be a part of society, be a part of the world, be involved. Everything these days has a technology component and, uh, and an engineering component. So it's really become important now to, to integrate um, all of those aspects into pretty much every aspect of education, um, even art and music and, and everything that's not necessarily a, a math class, for example. So robotics uh, and coding, um, software coding, um, in schools is important for, in my mind anyway, a couple of different reasons. One of them is obvious, is, is that we're doing more and more with robotics and more and more with software. We need people that know how to do those things. And um, not only can do it in today's languages and with today's technologies, but have um, been inspired or taught how to think forward. Because this technology is constantly evolving and changing and you have to stay ahead of that. So that's one aspect of it, but then um, there's this whole other aspect of the, the thought processes that go into um, the robotics. How are you going to take what you have in your mind and what you want a robot to do and translate that into something that the robot can do successfully? The way humans do it aren't going to necessarily be the way the robots do it, and so you have to have this mental process to translate. And then from the coding perspective, how do you, again, take what's in your brain and write it in a code that you have to, it's like writing it in another language. And one aspect is learning that language, but then again, you have to think the next step and how do you adapt that language to actually be even better than what you have today. And those, so those robotics and coding are great mediums to get students to start thinking not only how do I do things, but how can I improve things and be ready for whatever's coming next in the technology world. If I could offer one piece of advice to the educators that are um, really raising the next generation uh, of pioneers in everything, it would be to please, please don't tell students they can't do something. Don't tell them that something is beyond their capabilities. Um, don't tell them that um, something's just not possible. You know, every teacher has a day where they would just rather not be there. They'd rather curl up and, and just um, be, be home in bed. We just all have days like that. Um, we have days where we just want to get through a day. Let's just, just teach the course and, and, and be done. So I'm, I'm not asking every teacher every day to come in and uh, inspire 35 individuals to go on to greatness because sometimes 35 students you just try to, try to get through. And I've got, I got my own kids. I totally get it. Um, but I've also seen students who have uh, started uh, a week with this huge smile because they think the world has just full of possibilities and then one teacher had one bad day, made a snide remark, they didn't mean to, but to that student they received it as um, that thing that they thought they could do, they can no longer do and, and they're just, they never pursue it any further. I think educators inspire all their students every day just by the act of not saying you can't do it by not saying no. Sometimes the answer is, you know, I don't have time to help you right now. Sometimes the answer is, um, no, right now the way you're thinking about it, it's not necessarily the right way, but you know, I bet we can figure something out or I can connect you with somebody. Um, but the, the one piece of advice is to please just don't tell them flat out that they can't do what they think they might be able to do. Let them figure that out on their own.